Jessica Chastain's dress. Let's take a look at that. This dress was incredibly worrisome. And she's, <laughs> she's really gorgeous, and she can wear the hell out of almost anything, but this Calvin Klein dress, um, it just had so many folds and little areas where you just thought it would fly open when she accepted that award. And listen, I was so happy she got it. I thought Zero Dark there was amazing. But when she accepted that award and started to hug George Clooney, I just thought it was going to be her boobs accepting that award. Now, like, before, we thought we were so close to a malfunction. Do you think before the show, they get in their dresses and they do whatever they can to make sure nothing happens? And you then better hope so. I think that, like, it, there's a lot of wardrobe tape involved, and you kind of tape down all the sides, but as we well know, that doesn't always... Uh, so it's always a slip. ...doesn't always head everything off of the pass. So we were a little worried, but honestly, um, save for that, there were not a lot of malfunctions last night. Everything went really smoothly. Some might say almost too smoothly to make it boring, but... I thought really that well. it was maybe why she had her hair so long so she could flip it forward in a worst case <laughs> scenario. Strategic hairstyle. <laughs> um, Halle Berry always, I mean, always. This was really, <laughs> really unexpected. Um, She's we, some Angelina Jolie leg exactly, there. Exactly, there was the one strap, there was the one leg, the bright print. We were told that this was Versace, and the minute I heard that, I thought, oh, you know, it must have been dug out from the archives of the early 90s. <laughs> that's what this print seems like, like early 90s Miami. And in fact, it's not. It's from like last year, I think. Um, this was just strange. I mean, she can really wear anything, and because her body is so amazing, she looks better in like a black dress that just shows it off. Mm -hmm. This was a little too busy. Yeah, it, the, and the one shoulder. <laughs> I'm ready for the one shoulder thing to be over. Yes, and we didn't see a lot of it this time. Not so many mermaid dresses and not so much one shoulder, but Halle Berry is still a uh, stick in her guns. Um, Juliana Runkick, who's not there to accept an award, but is, you know, of the red carpet. And omnipresent, mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, on this red carpet. Oh, this yikes. This was strange. I, we kind of, she just looks like an insect in some way. She has long, say. slightly arms and this, like, weird black netting at the top. You can't really tell here, but her makeup was all also very strange. I think this would have taken like a smoky eye and she wore this maroon lipstick that just was very weird. It was borderline goth um, and I don't think anybody understood it. And then Lena Dunham, big winner in yes. the awards department, not so much. Yeah, and we're, department. everyone's rooting for Lena in every yeah. sense, even the fashion editors. We all want her to look amazing. You know, she's so proud of her body as she should be. This was really not her best look. It was, the dress was too big. You know, it just wasn't flattering. Everybody has a shape that's going to flatter them. This off the shoulder, it makes her look very wide. It's a very structured dress, so it kind of encases her, not in a good way. And this color was kind of somewhere between chocolate and raisin. It was just really, it kind of dates her. And if the dress is so long, you'd think that perhaps she would have worn flats underneath so she could get to the stage with yes. equilibrium. <laughs> She's a notorious heel walking problem. Um, we, uh, the Huffo Style staff, we were at the Glamour's Women of the Year Awards a couple months ago when she also accepted a Women of the Year Award, and she kind of hobbled on stage, and the first thing she did when starting her speech was take her shoes off. She's like, you know, guys, I just have to take these off. And we kind of were hoping she was going to do the same because she clearly can't stand in them. Um, but I guess she thought it was too big a stage. <laughs>